What's going on? So today in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to export as a CSV from Airtable interfaces. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm one of the co-founders of Optimize IS. We help businesses solve problems just like this all day, every day. This is actually a question that came from a client. How can I export these tasks from my project management tool in Airtable interfaces as a CSV? So that's what I'm going to be showing. If you ever need help, if you have like a lot of these kind of questions come up, you want some help implementing Airtable and training your team on Airtable, check out the link in the description and you can request the time to book a call with me or someone on my team. Without further ado, let's jump right into this. What we have here is an Airtable interface that we're looking at where you can do project management. This is a template that I've built for the YouTube channel where I've shown how to do some different cool things. Uh, you may be on the data layer. So if yours looks different than this, you may be here on the data layer. If you are on the data layer, how to export via CSV as you click on the name of your view and you click download CSV. But you're likely on this video because you want to export via interfaces. So how you export via interfaces is you need to have your page set up already. So once you have your page set up in the top left, click on the name of the base, click edit pages, and then scroll down on the right and allow users to export data as CSV. You also right here have the option to let users import data via CSV. Okay, that's how to export. That would export everything from a particular page. So this page is built off of the tasks table right here. That's the source. So from my understanding, when you export using these three dots right here, export data as CSV. See, that doesn't show up. The reason is, is because you didn't hit publish or I didn't hit publish. So if I go back in here to edit pages, export CSV is turned on, but because I didn't hit publish, I can't do it. So here I click these three little dots. Now that I've published with those changes, export and import shows up. Okay. Now what if this is actually my question from my client, they wanted to know how do you export just the tasks related to this one project? Fantastic question. You would be clicking around here like, oh, I don't see any way to export. That's kind of annoying. Let me click edit pages again. Now this is a, there's a tricky place to click because if you click right here in the list view, you're not going to have any options. Depending on where this little blue box is around is going to be what kind of element of the page you're clicked on. So if I click in the outer part, it puts the blue around everything in this section. And now if I scroll down over on the right, I have the option to export data as CSV. Now here you don't have the option to import, but that's not why you're here on this video. So that is how you enable exporting data via CSV. What you want to do now is you want to hit publish, publish again. And that is how you do that. If you want a link to this base, I'd say leave a comment in the comment section. And I am going to link to a tutorial. We did some cool stuff in this base. So if you want to like learn some project management concepts, click the link somewhere in this video. Uh, but just to show this last one working, I did hit publish, I believe. And now I have these three little dots and I can click export data as CSV. So that is how you do it. Uh, whether you want to do it from a page and export all of these tasks as a CSV, or you want to open up one particular detail page and export as a CSV. Now, if you're still watching and you're still having issues with this, one, you can book a call with me or someone on my team in the link in the description, or two, you may be using an outdated interface. So if I click edit pages here and I go back to this right here, uh, we enabled clicking into the detail pages, but there's a chance you're using an outdated version of, an, of a detail page. So none of these say like legacy version, but if you click on your page and then you go down, actually you click into the page. So I'm clicking into this list view. We have click into record details enabled settings wheel. If I go into this tasks detail options here, none of these say like legacy right here. If yours has like something that says like legacy builder or something like that, you may just have to create a new layout and completely rebuild your your table detail page, which is not ideal, but I can tell you for certain because you just saw it. If you build your detail page, which is when you click into this project, it's this is looking at the project detail page. 
if you build it with the new editor, you're going to have success in enabling exporting as a CSV of these sub tables in your detail page. So that would be my only like troubleshooting thing other than just booking a call with us if you want any help building something like this. Um, so hope this was valuable. I'll include a link in the end screen here. You can click on the next video that popped up and it's going to be some project management templates. It's most likely going to be how to like create some task templates in Airtable because that's the most common project management request we get. But hope this was valuable and I'll see you in the next one.